adding a press break to your iron worker for bending applications opens a whole new world of fabricating options in your shop. Generally, a press break can be added to any Cleveland Steel Tool iron worker to bend quarter inch and lighter gauge material. We offer press breaks in 7, 8, 10, and 12 inch lengths depending on the iron worker machine you have. The press break consists of two primary working parts, the arrow shaped punch or top section and the four-way X-shaped die along with the necessary mounting hardware. Before installing any tooling on your iron worker, be sure to power down the machine. To use the press brake, install the press brake punch mounting block using the bolts supplied. Slide the press brake punch into the punch holder. Tighten the screws on the holder to make sure the punch is secure. Check to make sure that there is no interference with the punch and the back throat of the iron worker. Center the die under the punch. Turn on the machine and jog the punch down until it is nearly in contact with the bottom die. Turn the machine off while in the down position. Bolt the die holder brackets in place. Install the set screw that keeps the die in place. When you use the press brake, Always be sure that the material is in the center of the brake. This will avoid damage to the tooling and iron worker. The brake can be used to bend gauge material as well as plate as thick as one quarter inch. You can also bend notched angle iron. The standard press brake will bend up to a 90 degree and greater angle. The X-shaped die is a four-way die to allow bottom bending of 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 16th, and quarter inch flat or notched angle iron up to 90 degrees. For machines equipped with stroke control, it is possible to air bend greater than 90 degrees. Press brake tools are available for immediate shipment from Cleveland Steel Tool.